Hi guys, Nagraj here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new for this channel, please do subscribe. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will see how to merge two sorted lists. For example, list 1 and list 2 we have. In list 1, the values are in sorted order and list 2, the values are in sorted order. Then the output, expected output is, we need to merge these two list value. Again, the output also in the sorted order. So, in this case, first, the data will be 0, definitely. The next, we need to go for the 1, next 3, next 4, 5 and 6. We are merging these two and the output will be something like this. If you consider the second example, if the list 1 has the value 1 and list 2 have value 0, in that case, 0, 1 will be the output. Okay. So, this question asked in the interview, that's why I taken up this example for today. The actual coding, we need to understand how we can apply the logic to write this program. Suppose consider this is index 1, our pointers will be, we start navigate from the list 1 first position and list 2 first positions. Okay, first we will compare this to 1 by 1 digit. So here, if you, while comparing, right, if L1 is less than L2, then we need to fix the L2 data. So that means, let me, let, let me take one more list value to get the output of it. Okay, let me save into L3. So if L1 is less than L2, I will take first value, L2 value. Okay, I got the first value. Then once I taken this value, I will move this pointer to this one. Okay, now again I am comparing L1 with L4, L1 with L2. So in this again we are comparing L1, in this case L1 is less than 4. So I am taking the L1 data, that is 1. Okay, I have taken the 1. Once I taken this data, I will switch this pointer to the next positions. So now the L2 pointing to the 4, so now I am comparing these two. Again L1 is less than L2, then I will take L1 data, that is 3, right. Now once I take that data, next I need to switch to that point to the next data, next element. Now here L2 pointing to the 4, so again now comparing 4 with 6. Now in this case L2 is less than L1, so let me take the lesser value again, 4. Let me take the lesser value again, 4. Once I take on this 4, I should move the pointer to the next positions. Then now we are comparing finally 5 with 6. Now L2 again is less. So L2, I will take the data to the output. See, we need to navigate till we got the end of this list 1, list 1 or list 2, whatever it is. So now we ended up with this data. So now remaining whichever the data available in the list 2 we need to pick and we should add it here this is also important so this is the final output 0 1 3 4 5 6 okay what are the data required to do this right so let me take another color so we need list 1 and list 2 data is required list 1 list 2 data record and to store the output we need l3 right once you assign these three we need to uh, First, we need to get the input L1 and L2, then we need to initiate L3, L3 for uh, output purpose. Then finally, we need, we, we need index, right? For L1 also, we need to take some index and uh, we need to uh, we'll assign the index to the 0 because the L1 start from 0 to till the size of the L1 and L2 also will start from 0 positions and till it will traverse till the end of the L2. Here, if you get confused, right, so let me write like index i and j I will take. The i represents here the starting position of L1 and j represents the starting position of the L2. Next, I need to take the size of it, right. The size of L1 I need, uh, L1 size record because I need to traverse till the end of this L1, right. Again, I need L2, L2 size. To time saving purpose, I have already initiated uh, L1 and L2 with few data. So I have taken L1 
list I have taken 135 and L2 I have taken 136. In this case, the what is the output? The output will be 11, right? 1, 1, 3, 3, 3, 3 and 5, 6. 5 and 6 this is the output. So let me write one program to mark the list. So public, I need to return the list value. So I will take the return type as a list. Uh, okay, you should take the two values. What are those? The list one and list two. I need to take the two values here. So list one comma list two. Okay, it should accept two values. So as we uh, discussed in the, we need to take one more variable, one more list to save the value to for the output, I will take L3. Okay. So as I mentioned, the index 0, 1, uh, i and j, we need to initiate by 0 because the list 1 starting position 0, I will take int i is equal to 0 and list 2 starting position, I will take j equal to 0. I initiated j, i and j. Now I need to take the size of it because I need a size of L1 and L2 so that I can write L1, the size I stored here, and again I will take the L1 dot size. Next, I need the size of L2. So L2 size is equal to I want the size of this list 2. So list 2 size. Okay. So I have taken all the uh, taken all the variable and assigned to the respective value. Now we will go for the while loop while <clears throat> l1 dot size is not equal to 0 and l2 dot size is not equal to 0 so our loop should keep on continue till the size becomes 0 now we will go to the next conditions like here we need to compare l1 l2 first data so for that let me take the if conditions if uh, it should be the upper case l1 dot get i the because i assigning the first value is less than l2 dot get of i because again i am assigning j here because the initial point uh, i am assigning j okay in this case what i need to do i need to l3 dot add so as we discussed here which one is less that should be moved to the l3 so in this case, I need to go for L3 dot add. So which data I need to add? L1 dot first data. L1 data I need to add it here. So here, once I add L1, so that's what we discussed right? Once you add L1, suppose which one is lesser one, then we need to move our cursor to the next positions, right? So that means I need to increment i by 1. So i plus plus. Again, I need to increase I need to reduce the size of the L1 also. Correct. So in this case, what happens? So let me show you that as well. Now L1 is 1, 3, 5. So L2, suppose assume like it is 0 or 2, 3, 5. So now we are comparing L1 and L2. Now L1 is less than L2 first digit, so I am taking this data and I am I need to increase the index. That's what I did here. I just incremented the value. Then I need to reduce the size by one because already size we have till the end of this we have taken. I need because I need to because the loop should go till uh, it it becomes zero. That's why I will reduce the size by one here. So minus minus if i1 is less than i2 else if it is not less than l2 so then we need to move the l3 so if it is not see, in this condition if l2 is greater than l2 uh, l1 is greater than l2 that case l2 value should be moved so we need to move l2 value to the output so l2 value i need to move this is this should be l2 and get off i and we need to increment j plus plus because i need to uh, index i should uh, increment 
and it is cl2 dot size okay so now till here it is done now so till it will go till here once you get final value till one index is remaining right that we need to save final value we need to save to the output so this is very important so what we can do once this else loop and all done we need to return l3 so before this we need one more condition like in last loop so 5 and 6 will be compared l2 is less than l1 so 5 will be moved and we are end up with the list 2 so we are again you are not comparing 6 with any other data right so finally which one is left that one we can add to the list value 6 okay that's why i need to write one more value here something like so l3 dot add which data we need to add so i will add on conditions here if list one is not equal to zero i will i will add one condition here list one not equal to zero so l1 dot size minus one okay last data i need to move to the l3 or if it is if it is equal to zero then what value we need to move we need to move l2 dot size minus one the l2 last value i need to move that's it now we need to call this method in the main uh, method the let me print out this merge so we need to pass two value l1 and l2 l1 comma l2 we need to pass now we need to run this program right click run as java application Oh, we have some the problem here right it is not merging the data properly so we'll see we'll find out what is the issue so now 0 to 5 we give one 0 4 5 out expected out to be 0 1 2 4 5 6 should come if something it is coming like 6 5 2 is coming so we'll see what is the issue yeah most probably the issue will be in this only we'll see that first we are checking the conditions so we are not passing the last element of the L1 because we are just sending the size only, right? So we need to get the last, this is the last index we got, last data we got. What is that we should get? L1 dot get. So inside we should pass this, right? This is the final data. So if the condition is not satisfied, we need to send the last element of the list one. So we need to get the last element here. Similarly, here also L2 L2 dot get the last index of the L2. So hope it should work fine now. Java application. Yeah, still it is showing some issue. We'll see that what is the issue. We need to get some uh, error actually so that we'll understand better. So what is the problem? Okay, see here, uh, we are L1 dot get i, that is fine. L2 dot get j, because we need to get the second index because by copy pasting, done mistake. So let me run this again. We'll see, will it works or not? So right click, run as Java applications. Yeah, I think, yeah, now it is fine. So we got the expected output. So let me change the input few bit. Let me use uh, uh, five. Let me use some repeated value one, uh, three and five. Let me use one again here. Let me use three again and six. Let it be the same. So let me run this and we'll see uh, will you get the output or not. Yes, we got the proper output because 1, 1, 3, 3 and 5 and 6. Okay. To solve this, everyone have their own point of view. They can resolve this issue, resolve this problem. We can, uh, but this is my approach. If you have very simple approach still and you can put it in comment section, that will be helpful for the viewers as well as for me to upgrade myself.
If you like this video, please hit like button and please share with your friends those who are looking for uh, the Java concept and don't forget to subscribe my channel for further useful videos guys. Thank you.